Well, hey guys, welcome back in the garage. And today we're going to be looking at the new pro tank bag range from SW Motic. So stay tuned and I'll catch you after this. So all new for 2020 is their new pro tank bag range. Now this um, has been completely restyled. The whole range of their tank bags have gone through a whole new design and restyle. Not only that, the most interesting part of this is actually how it's actually mounted to the bike. Now, if you are familiar with SW Motex um, previous range on their tank bags, you had a ring that fixed onto your filler uh, tank filler cap and the tank bag would ratchet into that um, particular ring. Now on this new range or the new way of mounting it to the bike, they've come out with the same sort of design with the same sort of tank ring that's mounted to the filler cap, but it's incorporated a few magnets and whatnot into the, um, into the tank bag itself and into the ring, um, which makes it much easier to um, mount it to your bike. Gone are the days, if you, especially on the older models, it was a bit of a nightmare in between. If you weren't used to how they worked, it, it did take some sort of jiggling about to get it actually seated on the bike. And I've had it a few times where I'd fill up um, at a petrol station and I've not uh, had it completely ratcheted onto the bike and it's it's not flown off but it's uh, come off in your run later down the road. So what we'll do now is have a quick look at the new tank bag and the ring itself and exactly how the mechanisms change and how it functions so we'll have a quick look at that and then get over onto the bike and get it mounted. So in here we have got the Pro Day Pack um, tank bag. Now I am going to be getting my hands on the incomplete and entire range of tank bags so watch out for that video where I can actually get them all fixed onto the bike and all mounted to show you exactly how they look. So brand new styling, I think it's a really nice um, design, slightly um, more ruggedized than the uh, previous version. Now I do have one here, so this was the, this was the micro um, pack. So the uh, styling has changed somewhat, as I said it's slightly more ruggedized on top. Now there are some accessories that you can get for the top of this where you can mount your mobile phone and a map, um, etc. This one zips open as previously on the top and inside we've got the usual gubbins, we've got our rain cover, uh, we've got the adapter plate which mounts onto the bottom of the um, tank bag itself. So we shall show you that in a second. So inside the tank bag then it's kind of standard uh, procedure, you've got a few elastics on the side to um, secure some stuff to so make sure it stops it from bouncing around inside the tank bag. We've got a zipper at the top here where you can um, secure some paperwork or whatever you want to chuck in there in the lid itself. Usual carry handle on the rear of the tank bag and this can actually be extended upwards with the sake or with the use of the second zipper and you can extend um, the tank bag upwards to increase volume. So that's the tank bag itself. I think it looks really nice. I think the design that they've uh, they've struck a, uh, struck a winner with that one. I really do like the new um, shape and form of these. But the thing that really has changed and is what's interested me so much is how the how it's actually now mounted to the bike. Now, what has changed um, a lot about the mounting of the bottom of the um, tank bag is that beforehand, this is the new adapter plate for the new one, which I will have to mount to the bottom of the tank bag shortly. This mounts to the bottom of the tank bag, and you can adjust it up and down depending on your shape and tank. Um, for your particular bike to make sure you get the best fit. Now we'll have a look at that in a second. Now on the old one it was a similar design. You um, would attach your um, base plate to the bottom of the tank bag um, but you would have to drill through the bottom of this tank bag once you've got the adjustment and placement of how you want it to uh, how you want it to sit on the bike. You drill hole, four holes in the bottom of the tank bag and it screws tight and that is then uh, you good to go. The only downside to that like I had if you ever change your bike or if you've um, uh, later on um, attached um, satellite navigation or um, a telephone to the front of your bike and you need that bit, bit more space at the front of your bike to actually adjust it again to make sure that you can slide it a bit further forward or a bit further back depending on how you want to have it you would have to re-drill holes in the bottom of these now there isn't much room for adjustment on this micro tank bag so subsequently if you did need to adjust it the bottom of the thing would be full of holes now this has changed um, on this new tank bag once I've uh, mounted this into the bottom before you actually screw it tight, you can mount, you can adjust forward and back. So there's no drilling of the tank bag. This is actually fixed onto the bottom of the tank bag already. And all you need to do is secure the, the base plate, adjust it to how you want it, and then screw the four screws into place and uh, you are good to go. Now diving into the new tank ring quickly, just to show you exactly how this all works. 
inside the box we've got some various screws that I've just tipped out everywhere. Nice one. Now in here we've got a few spaces and a number of different screws, a number of different lengths depending on your particular bike. Now these are bike specific. So you need to make sure if you're ordering one of these that you check for the bike specific tank ring. Now this is what actually attaches um, onto, your, onto your filler cap onto your bike and this would then ratchet it um, from the bottom of the tank bag into um, the tank bag itself. But we'll take a look at that in a second. Now what's different from these is, I mean, it's a similar sort of design to last uh, or to previous generation tank rings. It's a similar similar um, principle, but what's different is that in this one, you've got some magnets that are uh, located inside it and they then locate um, with the four magnets on the base plate of the tank bag. So they sit together, which makes it easier to, to ratchet the tank bag into position and you haven't sort of got to jiggle it about until it's actually um, ratcheted in. So first thing we need to do before we go any further is to get this ring mounted onto the filler cap. So let's jump over onto the bike and get that mounted first. So firstly, we need to put in place four spaces. You need to make sure obviously you remove the four rear screws. Now it's obviously slightly bike dependent because um, they are slightly different and bike specific. Now it's advised to use a medium thread locker on each of the fastening bolts and snug those up. Now you don't need to be too overindulgent with the, the screws. They do um, suggest to tighten to two newton meters, which is nothing. And even my smallest torque wrench doesn't go down. I think mine goes down to six. So you're talking just snugging them up. Nothing too mental. And we sit on our tank ring. Again, bike specific. Again, drop of medium thread locker on there. Spotty dog. And lastly, two locating screws, spaces, whatever you want to call them. You really don't have to lean on these screws. You know, two new meters isn't a lot at all. So spotty dog. Now you need to make sure you, um, before you go any further, you don't want to be testing this out before you've put the, the pull cord on. Cause if you mount this on there, you'll have a nightmare trying to get it off without the pull cord attached. So make sure you get that mounted beforehand. All you need to do is get the pull cord mounted through the top, pull it straight through. And that's all you need to worry about for now, because if you do mount it without this on there, this is what releases uh, the tank bag from the bike. The first thing to do is to get this mounted onto the tank bag itself. Just drop two screws in to start with and just do them sort of not even hand tight, just loosely in because we still need to be able to adjust this further um, front and back. So we'll just seat these screws in just to, just like that. And then you can test and adjust the position of how you want it. Now, because I have a telephone mounted to the front of this, I'm just gonna grab that because if I mount it too far forward, then it's gonna be bashing onto me telephone. Uh, telephone case on, hashtag ultimate add-ons. And I can now test and adjust the position of the tank bag. Now this one is gonna hang slightly further over the front, front of the tank, but I'm not too worried about that one. I need to make sure you've got full movement of your control. So I can probably go a little bit further. And just tighten those back up. Another test and adjust. It's obviously the fantastic thing about this is that can you, you can adjust it as many times as you want. So now I can secure these in place. Put in the remaining two screws. Final test. Well, that is so great that, that I love the new way of uh, attaching it. The magnets are strong enough, but nothing too, nothing too mental and it just ratchets on every time. On she goes. Now the last thing to do is to cure this um, securing strap inside the tank bag. So all I need to do is thread it up inside the tank bag itself and attach this little buckle. You can then test and adjust uh, the slack, uh, how much you want to have protruding out the front for you to be able to 
release the tank bag, so I'm going to go a bit, a bit tighter. That's probably enough for me. And that's it done. Ratchets in every time. Even if you do get it a bit wonky, just jiggle it and it will sit right into position every time you do it. And it's secure. Absolutely fantastic design. This is going to be a real game changer for me. Love it. So that was a first look and an install of the Pro Day Pack from SW Motec. Now, as I said previously, they are going to be sending me the entire range of their tank bags for me to test. So you can really see how in each tank bag looks on the KTM Super Duke GT. I've been always amazed by SMU Motex products uh, throughout the years, even before we started working together on YouTube, I've found their products to be uh, one of the best out there. And especially this new Pro tank bag range. The new design of it, the styling of it, I think is, is really good. And the main thing, which I think is a bit of a game changer, is how it's actually mounted onto the bike with their new magnet system. So if you are looking to get your hands on one of these, links are in the description below down to SW Motec's website. So jump over onto their website and check out all the tank bags that they've got to offer and which one best fits your bike. Again, I'd like to say a massive thank you to SW Motec for sending me the Pro Day Pack for review. As I said, the others are coming um, because it is different. Um, although the tank ring, the adapter ring that goes on your filler cap is bike specific, these are not, um, but it depends on the shape and uh, form of your particular bike and tank depends on which one will fit your bike best. Now they do um, advise you that on their website, not all of them may be available for your bike. It doesn't mean it's not available. It just means that SW Motec have tested each um, tank bag on each bike and decided if it really fits or not. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave me a like if you enjoyed what you saw. If you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe and hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button to make sure you are notified every time I upload a video. I don't just do pod reviews. I'm out on the bike, I do touring videos, I do track days, all kinds of stuff on this channel. So if you do like what you saw, then make sure you leave me a like uh, down below. Also, if you've got any questions, comments or queries, leave them me in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Well, hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be taking it. The... Oh, nice one, tit. Put it on upside down. Happy and amazed, um, mainly, but... <laughs> and for me, this new pro tank bag, tank bag, 